Why, hey there, Kiara. Fancy seeing you here. Lies. You're literally a moderator. How's your day going anyway? You literally have the moderator sword. The sword of a moderator. Trolls quiver before you. Hey Nolus, how's it going? And it's Nick. How are you feeling at the moment? I mean, I know you uh, cancelled your stream, so. Yeah, well. You cancelled the D&D stream anyway, but you uh, cancelled your stream stream as well. Yeah, Kiara's pretty cool. That's why I made her, mo her a moderator. So for it's the worst. Well, except for me because I work retail, so a sore throat is basically the only illness that'll actually get you off. Work. Please don't clip that. And thanks for giving Kiara the shout out, she just won't give herself. No less miserable as usual, darling, perfectly wretched. You'll find that's just a Cruella line. That's applied for free room and board in your head recently. Yeah, that's fair. She is a corny as queer coded villains go. Thanks for the re retweets, by the way, everyone. Kiara, uh, okay. oh, my phone kind of lit up a bit there, but I definitely saw Kiara. Oh, yep, yeah, if someone could just type exclamation mark poll, I just so I can promo the poll to decide what I'm going to start streaming on Monday. Thank you, Kiara. You meant any time, but you're thinking about Tim Hortons. Ah uh, yes, that Canadian place that sells hot beverages. Which one would assume are very important to Canadian culture. food there is awful but you eat there anyway. Oh yep, speaking of coffee shops, here one of the um, main chains, coffee chains, Costa, the Costa um, basically had a bit of a controversy where someone complained about a vegan sandwich of some sort being vegan. Like, 
it's a whole thing on Twitter. It's a they try to portray it as um an attempt to sell fake turkey, but it literally called itself vegan several times and used a fun name. Kiara claims that she, uh, myself and her boyfriend were conspiring against her a few days ago, and this is true. He's um, suggested Disco Elysium for my next poll, because he wants um, Kiara to watch a playthrough of it. And since, of course, she her sense of duty demands she be here, she'd be powerless to not see it. I do not know what they expected in the vegan sandwich, but I think they tried to portray the vegan sandwich filling as some sort of spooky um, fake food filling, which is kind of funny when you think about it, because you simultaneously have people saying um, artificial and uh, synthetic substitutes are bad, while also um, rally and other people rallying against meat, meat. So they both want the same thing, but they're just both at odds. Highly original thoughts here. Anyway, anyway, yes, vote in the poll. Uh, last I checked, the World Ends with You was leading, but I think the bad Metroid game is just behind it and I'm scared. Please don't do this to me. Yes, Kiara, I actually admitted to the conspiracy. Although that, to be fair, that isn't really a... I know, is it a conspiracy if you admit to it? I guess conspiracy is actually the actual conspiring. Which means I, you can actually be guilty of a conspiracy you're openly admitting to. Nick, it would be a shame if we ate synthetic food instead of the all-natural foods we grow like clementines, a fruit we wholly invented. Nerdless, you know pretty much nothing about the Wardens with you. But as far as you're concerned, it's the harm reduction candidate. Well, the World End with you is a very fun game. Alrighty, that's my face. I got thrown a bit because I forgot I moved it the other side, which is actually that which is actually this way because the camera's flipped. Kiara, sometimes conspiracy can be admitted to, but it's surface level stuff. Oh good, then we're not conspiring. We're just openly motivating you. Yes, yes we are. Anyway, uh, for some reason I decided to have my hair down today. I don't know. My webcam just flips and I'm not really sure how to change it. I'm being oppressed here. <sighs> Anyways, hopefully this will work. Kiara posits that we should sue all cameras. Yeah, that's fair. Nick, we're used to seeing ourselves in the mirror, which is flipped by default, so flipping the camera horizontally feels more natural. 
and then when we point left it looks left on the monitor yeah but there's the thing when I'm trying to do something using the camera it actually looks opposite to how it looks in the mirror for me okay hopefully you can all see the game remember vote in the poll uh, I'm actually kind of hoping um, other M doesn't win just because it means I'll actually have to order a copy of it although I'm kind of disappointed the um, Team Raider game isn't leading because I kind of wanted an excuse to just wear the parts the cosplayer already has to have together maybe motivate myself to get to work on the wig but hey I can do that oh yeah something to show you all actually This is the uh, prototype for my uh, grounded glove. You can't actually uh, see it too well, but... Well, yeah, it's there as a joke, but I'm still sort of obli obligated to play it. I wouldn't have put it on the plot if I weren't, was completely unwilling to play it, to be fair. Okay, so this is the uh, prototype love I've made, just sort of to test the technique out. It's frayed in a few pl places, so I'll be a bit more careful, but I've just stuck a, tr a couple of nails on there to refine the technique, which looks kind of weird, but I think it'll be okay painted. Anyway, I love the Tieflin glove. It's so chaotic neutral. Anyways, let's continue. <coughs> Sorry for the sneeze there. No less. Regarding conspiracies, Republicans and the US government at large are constantly admitting to conspiracies and then enjoying zero discussion of them, much less consequences. It's not even a controversial take these days. And thank you for the guzz and tight, Nolus. Right, so what was I doing again? guys have really made me reflect on the way I've been living but the only problem is with all this reflecting where's the time for love frankly I'm thinking I'm reflecting reflecting is a bit overrated you know well, what are you going on about Larry Lars do you honestly have any new info on the buzzer records huh the records oh uh, no nothing at all this guy reflects about as much as a piece of black carpeting. Kiara, you like teasing me about Other M, but you don't want me to play Other M. can I speak to? Well, I don't vote in my own polls. 
Or do I? I'm so happy you got your sacred urn back. Well, I have you to thank for that, Mr. Light. Uh, and I'm sorry. Huh? What are you apologising for? Because I mistakenly blamed your husband for taking it. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? My Ronnie could never do such a thing. Okay. Still nothing here. Hey, Riot Sister, how's it going? Can we get a shout out for Riot Sister? Thank you, Kiara. Oh, uh, yeah, but you're doing a sewing stream the other day. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Uh, woke up this morning, that was a bad move, but I had work, so I didn't have much choice. Came back home, ate a pizza, took a very brief nap, and now I'm streaming. <laughs> Thanks for the quote, no less. Big mood indeed. I'm glad we got the sacred arm back and all. So then, how come you don't look any happier? Why should I? I don't know if it should say Ami or I am on it anymore. And now it's got big pink polka dots on it that weren't there before. You applaud me doing the things to spite. Well, I work in a bakery, so I'm used to working while I'm tired. Don't you think you're overreacting just a little? Overreacting? Nick, I can't believe you said that. I mean, it's like, like, do you know who, have we just met? I got it. It's like if I came in wearing polka dots on my acolyte costume every day and said, Hi Nick, I'm, I am. Well, do you still think it's no big deal? I guess it would be a real disaster. You see, you see? Well, that's how I feel. Kiara is correct. Doing things is tiring sometimes. No less, your brain autocompletes. Woke up this morning with, my wings aren't no use, thanks to that weird Opus cartoon that aged so badly. Opus cartoon? Anyways, guess we're just gonna keep wandering around until I remember what I was doing last stream. He's from this newspaper comic, it's whatever. Kiara never knew anyone would reference an Opus cartoon, but every once in a while. Oh yeah, we had a uh, thing to interrogate Discount Samus over. Well, actually no, Discount Samus is selling her shorts. We all love Adrian. The Sacred Urn. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the Sacred Urn? Do, do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, well that, that's true. Maybe it isn't the same. It, it could be a, it could be a fake. A uh, fake. The other one who said it wasn't the same. So that's most, that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence that the urn that was submitted at the trial was genuine?
Nolus. It's uh, the pile of Christmas movies your folks watch every year. Kiara, you used to read the Opus newspaper comics. I'll be honest, I've never heard of it. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Kiara, if I see the breakout character who is a penguin, I might be somewhat familiar. Wait, you're saying it's the entire Linux operating system? No idea what Doonesbury is either. Detective Gumshoe, about this right here. Sorry, it's hard to believe, but there's a limit on much how much my brain can hold, bub. I got two ears and two eyes, but I only got one brain. I can see your eyes and your, the ears. But the jury is still out on the brain thing. Hey Nick, you have to, if you have something to say, just come out and say it. No less, Doonesbury is an American comic that's like political. You think it's vaguely left wing? To be honest, it's mostly just boring. Okay. So it's sort of like the Guardian before it went all uh, turfy. That's why you didn't like it, even as a teen. Ziggy was less boring. Doonesbury. Thinking about it, I think I might have seen a Doonesbury strip that involved the main character ending up a, turned into Lara Croft. Now that probably cracks a few eggs. Actually, I'm not sure. It might have been a different comic, but it had that sort of American um, newspaper comic style to it. And I'll be honest, I don't know what Ziggy is either. Actually, no, was that mentioned in an episode of The Simpsons? Being narrated to uh, Mr. Burns by Smithers? Kiara, not for you. The Wonder Woman, the Wonder Woman movie cracked your egg. What, the recent one? I'm fairly certain you've been out longer than that. I think you know how much I want to help you guys, but I really don't know what to say about that. What is it, Nick? It's just that he seems so, I don't know, pleasant. No less, which one is Ziggy? Brain Search is coming up with two comics. One is a dude with weird hair and a pink dress. Okay. 
thinking about it, I think I've been stuck on this part for quite a while, so if anyone wants to look up spoilers, go ahead. Um, listen carefully, okay, Nick? I know you don't think much of me as a person, but I'm no thief, and I would never wear a goofy get-up like that. Um, no one ever accused you of being a thief. No less, oh, the little white guy, coloured Kirby-looking guy. One panel, you think? It's too much work for me, making plans, writing calling cards, etc, etc. I'd rather just pull a diamond and dash at a burger joint. And leave with a succulent Chinese. Burgers? I love burgers too. Really? Well, how about it? Wanna go on a burger day tonight? At least pay for the food, because I'm not defending you again. No less BRB will find a guard when back. Oh, thank you. seen anything else? Everything here? Oh, this is new. This rope. Do you think it fell out of the safe when it was opened? Uh, I don't think so. So you mean? Yeah, I think the string shows where and how the corpse was lying. You, you mean? The victim? He, he was killed by being crushed by the safe door? She can't be serious, can she? To be fair, Mayor is very rarely serious, but... Just a bunch of old urns. Uh, are these really treasures too? Uh, of course they are. This is a treasure exhibit, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. So it, all it takes to be a treasure is age. No wonder no one likes museums. Isn't it? Does this music sound like it should be on a pirate ship? It sounds like it should be in a first-generation Pokemon game. Yeah, I could see that. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. Why do I feel like we've had this exact same conversation before somewhere? Fandom, you're not searching for articles, but you're searching for a game series wiki because you ate them all. At least let you get to them quickly. <laughs> oh, fandom wikis. Zari sure is cool. I love the whole motorcycle thing. The way she laughs in the face of death. 
I want to try it too. I thought you only knew how to ride a bike. Hey, don't forget, Nick. That's a, it's an electric bike. No less, and they stuck the search bar under a tiny button in the corner, and you always forget that. Yeah. Kiara, that explains why you couldn't find many pages. Off to TV tropes. Speaking of, I I literally I actually ended up I uh, saw a um, TV tropes page reference in the wild today. TV tropes does not have walkthroughs, and believe me, I've been told off for trying to put them in. That was a joke. Please don't ban me, fight here. Trick. So young and already so lazy. Whatever happened to good, good old exercise? Butts does what? Butts does many things. Don't dwell on them. I can hardly believe that guy was really the thief in disguise. I never saw that coming. Then again, I stink at spotting the, those plot twist things. This hate at me seems to have really enjoyed himself today. Maybe a little too much. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. Today was pretty wild. Like the plus of some crazy comic book. Great. Glad you had fun while I was getting abused by the prosecutor. As always. Once again, Mayor is all of us. No less, you're on the walkthrough, well, synopsis page. She certainly seems grateful to you, Nick. Well, she was in a pretty tight spot during that terrible ordeal. Remember when we uh, made fun of her for being suicidal? Good times. Actually, I'm grateful to her too. Hmm? It sounds like you're not telling me something. I'm going to take a good look at the case file next chance I get. Larry, he's your old childhood friend, right? Yeah, I've known him since elementary school. This is meaningless to anyone who isn't American. Seriously, what is elementary school? Wow, that's even longer than I've known Pearly. You two must have lots of good memories together. Like that time he framed you for stealing his lunch money. I guess so but I can hardly remember them. They've been erased by all the traumatic ones. Say, Nick, what do you think that thing attached to his face is, anyway? Don't ask me. Why not? You know him, don't you? No less elementary school is from eight, about age 8, maybe, to 12. Oh, okay. Basically primary school, then. Uh, sort of primary school, early secondary school. Because here you're in primary school up until you're about 10. And then you go to secondary school when you turn 11. Ish. I think. It's between preschool and middle school. Yeah, sounds about primary school. I'd imagine there's sort of um, uneven overlaps, different school systems and all. It gets confusing because um, American just sort of uh, gives it all the different years names instead of just numbering them. I've never met that guy before in my life and believe me, he's not exactly forgettable. Yeah, but the trial today, he said. 
so we finally meet. So we finally meet Mr. Phoenix Trite. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. So dramatic. You're right about one thing. He sure acts like he knows me. Hey Nick, I was just thinking. Maybe you should try to stop making people you've never met before into your enemies. Trust me, I'd like to stop doing that too. My poor body can only take so much. Wow, Phoenix. Who's that guy anyway? And what's his story? I wonder if I'll ever find out. He's the victim in this case. Lame Blowhard. No, it's Kane Bullard. I know, but you look so ugly. Wow, Mayor, judgy. No less in elementary, have first grade through sixth grade, then seventh for eighth grade may or may not be things. And high school has freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and college has those four again. I see. In the UK, we just literally have year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Year six, and then year seven, year seven, year eight, year nine, and year ten are secondary school, and years eleven and twelve are um, college, which is sometimes just six called sixth form. Well. Why don't you remember at least the bull part of his name and riff off that? Now you mention it, I guess he does kind of look like an ugly old bull. Hmm, we still don't know much, very much about this victim, but we're still going to judge his appearance. So he's the one who sent the blackmail letter to Mr. Delight, right? Yeah, it looks that way, but we still need to look into this guy some more. Gumshoe's on this case too, huh? He seems to show up during all our cases. It can't be a coincidence. Maybe it's a sign that our fates are destined to be woven together for all time. Yeah, that'd be a real beauty in the beast kind of fairy tale, wouldn't it? Wow, judgmental much. So, Detective at me was a master mask after all, huh? I guess so. After all, he did admit it. Yeah, but Mr. Delight still hasn't changed his tune. He's still claiming that he's the real Master Mask. You don't think he's just saying that to avoid the murder charge, do you? Uh, I'm not sure. If we're still on our Adrian Cyclox, we've got to talk to Ron. Okay. Uh, where's Ron? Yeah, I'm getting pretty stuck, so uh, he's not he hasn't appeared at the detention centre yet. I'd assume there's some sort of uh, event flag I need to trigger. Unless I've bugged the game somehow. That sounds more like a uh, plot summary than um, an actual uh, walkthrough. Uh, 
uh, yeah, there's probably a, an event flag I need to find then to get him to show up, which is kind of annoying. Well, time to share everyone everything. Huh? Well, I am a lawyer, aren't I? Yeah, well, I just guess I just didn't think you'd keep being one for this long. You have to admit, you've had some close blush brushes with the death because of your job. <sighs> Sorry about that. Course in a yawn. Uh, I fail to see how being a lawyer is more dangerous than channeling the dead people. What do you think about this? Huh? It seems like it has something to do with this case, but I'm not really sure. I'm glad we got the sacred urn back and all. Okay, already seen this bit. So this was made by the real Master Mask, huh? Yep. Detective Gumshoe said it was the real thing. One well, look at this, Mark, and you know it's the real deal, pal. Yeah, but do you realise whose deductive reasoning skills we're talking about, right? You know, I didn't even know the statue existed until a little while ago. Didn't say Adrian say it's from the fa a faith branch family's training hall or something. Yeah. There are actually a lot of training halls scattered all over the country. Here's no way deep in desolate mountains. Why does it always have to be desolate mountains? Did we get Butts to admit to leaving his post? I think so. Uh, according to this data, the thief showed up at the basement warehouse at... Um, one o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah, but remember this data came from at me. For all we know, he might have somehow tampered with it. But, but then, what about this photo? It's got the time on it too. Yeah, and the security camera belonged to Lordly Taylor. At me couldn't have tampered with this photo's timestamp to show the wrong time. I guess this means that means this data is accurate after all. Apparently the buzz off went off at one. Yeah, I've got the evidence for that. The buzzer record. Which I think I got from Larry at the end of the last stream. Well, not the last stream, but last week's stream. And I went to play D&D &D and there were snails. Lots and lots of snails. What do you think about this? Okay, already that's just the default response. This was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. So does that mean Safe Batman put it there himself? That's the only explanation I can think of. Uh, I guess he wants to make sure it looked like he'd struggled with the thief that night. This was found in the building where the crime took place on the very night of the murder. And according to the time record on the key card inside. Yeah, it was used right around the time of the murder. Doesn't sound very good, huh? So Mr. Delight was being blackmailed, huh? By the CEO of the security company he used to work for. Yeah, it looks like it. Sounds like we still need to do some more poking around. 
Google walkthrough. Could strategy wiki be any harder to navigate? Tch. You better watch yourself and not do anything naughty either, Nick. Was that a threat? Is she trying to blackmail me now? Okay, I wonder if um, I could try talking to people about the um, murder victim. Oh, I know him. This is Ronnie's boss, the CEO guy. Well, now he's an ex-boss. Someone killed him last night. Naturally, I know that. He has pr a pretty sly la man, let me tell you. Ah, oh, really? You bet he was. He made Ronnie chief as one of the security teams. But that was just so he could work him like a slave. Did Mr. Delight ever have a problem with Mr. Bullard himself? Even if he did, do you think he should ever tell you about it? Well, Ronnie isn't the bad type to complain about that kind of thing. I tried to get him to talk to me about work, but he never would. Detective Gumshoe, tell us more about Mr. Shane Bl Bluebard. No less. Wow, RPG site is going for the lowest word count re record or something. Cyclock, the Sacred Urn, Adrian Andrews. First up, present the Sacred Urn. Next, present the Treasury Exhibit photo poster. Time to use new evidence. Present the paint marks. Follow up by that by presenting the urn box. Kiara, your Chandler Bing impression is bleeding through with the Googled walkthrough comment. Right, I don't think I have the Sacred Urn as evidence yet. That's Kane Bullard, not Shane Bluebart, pal. Oh yeah, the victim in this case just doesn't make much of an impression on me. Well, you were the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick. Now's our chance to get more info about the victim. So hurry up and ask. Okay. Can you tell us some more about Mr. Bullard? He was the C CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyway? You know, apart from the fact that it's literally named after his initials. Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Bullard must have had the chance to learn a lot of secrets doing this kind of work. Oh, and? And, I don't know how to put this, that the car was kind of a money grubber. Really? Me too. I just love money. I can't ever get enough. I just can't have enough. I just can't have enough. Yeah, we already broke but to Cyclock. Please stop leaning in towards me like that. You aren't getting to my wallet. Anyway, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his millions. Wow, a millionaire who was unethical. I am simply shocked. Shocked. Oh, so that's my problem. I need to be shiftier. No, I don't think we do have the urn in um, the record. Nope. Let me go already. Uh, apparently he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Oh, that's pretty dirty and underhanded. Yeah. Oh, KB security used to head security operations against Master Mask. 
What? Really? Okay, that could actually explain why um he'd know what the uh, logo was. Yeah, and after screwing up so many times, the company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Bullard he sent on the blackmail letter, huh? We get the urn after talking to Ron. Okay. Uh, well, we just got that convo. Maybe that'll do it. CEO of our company. He was a pretty good guy. Huh? Really? Yeah, you bet. You know how I'm not very good about working hard, right? Uh, yeah, I kind of noticed. Tss. Yep, the tension center has left the group chat. Well, guess what the boss had to say to me about that? I don't expect much work from you, Larry. In return, just don't expect much pay. I see. I guess he just had to follow some kind of dumb law about having a security here in the building. So in order to pay the lowest wages possible, he went to the bottom of the barrel. To be honest, I kind of looked up to the boss. If I ever grow up to be a CEO, I want to be just like him. And don't worry, Nick. I promise I'll hire you for security. Anyway, <sighs> there we go. October the thirteenth, the detention center visitors' room. I guess I just need to ask everyone about the murder victim. Uh, Mr. Wright. Mr. Delight, did they finish their interrogation? Yes, but, but please don't leave me alone anymore. Mr. Delight, you lied to us before, didn't you? Well, well, well you, you see. On the same night, the sacred urn was stolen from Lord, the Lordly Taylor Department Store. A blackmail letter you got, sum you got summoned you to KB Security to hand over some money. And then... That's where the CEO, Cain Bullard, was murdered. But there's only one rotten delight, am I right? So the only question is, where were you that night? This time I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Because literally everything has the death penalty here for some reason. Uh, uh, okay. Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you're Master Mask? Isn't that what I've been saying since yesterday? That was a quick response. Tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. But, but listen, Mr. Delight. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? <laughs> Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rifle worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. I uh, guess it's true. I wasn't the one who stole that urn. Uh, of course not. After all, you were at KB Security at the time. So then the person dressed up as Master Mask in this photo. It's gotta be Detective at me. So that night, you didn't go to Lordly Taylor, you went to KB Security, right? Y yes I went to KB Security at the time the blackmail notes said I should. Alright, what happened next? Well, I used to work there so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. 
So then I use the key card to unlock the door. No less briefs a second sigh of relief that the actual effing clown didn't show up again. Yeah, I think we're all relieved. And that's probably when he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's office, someone was in there. Someone. Was that happening in silhouette? And then suddenly they bashed me over the head. Bam! Was it Cain Ballard that hit you? I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. When I came to my senses, the sight I saw left me speechless. The dead body of the CEO was right there in front of me. I thought I'd die myself. That's an interesting corpse. <laughs> yep, Nolis. Who's that? Suspects. It's Pikachu. Anyway, I thought I should do something with the body. So that's why you put it in the safe. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Who's that suspect? It's Kane. It's at me. F. I used to be the chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay, and what do you do after that? Well, I got out of there, so for starters. I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. Tch. That video is so good. So timeless. Which one? Oh yeah, the um... <laughs> was it? Oh, that's easy. Wait, oh, that's easy. It's uh... I keep forgetting what the um, image was, but it was like Jigglypuff from above. Oh, the drunk guy watching Pokemon 1. Nick, all of a sudden Mr. Delight sounds kind of like the murderer to me. Please don't say that. Mr. Delight, is it true that one year ago you were forced to quit KB security? Uh, uh, how did you... I'm begging you, please don't tell Desi. Please. D don't worry, we haven't told anyone yet. The silhouette was Clefairy, which, to be honest, is pointy and kind of like Pikachu's. Yeah. Fun bit of trivia, Clefairy was actually originally going to be the uh, mascot of the Pokemon franchise until Pikachu became popular somehow. That's why Clefairy has the whole myth arc at Mount Moon and everything. Uh, thank goodness. Um, no, um... But I suppose I'll have to tell her sometime. She'll find out eventually. Why have you been hiding it from her anyway? Desi would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. A criminal, a thief, she'd never forgive me. My marriage would be over. Knowing that, why do you become a thief in the first place? Because Specy spends money like it's water. You can spend water. <laughs> it's a vine, that's how old it is. Well, thank you, Nolas, I just aged 50 years. There's no job in the world that could bring in enough money, except being a thief. At least that's what I thought anyway. Fun fact, most pe uh, most uh, career thieves don't actually make enough money to break even. It's basically the um, streaming of crime. So he became Master Mask for Desiree, huh? The 
this calling card. Did you send this? No, uh, that is, I don't know anything about that. I mean, I had other plans for that night already. That's true. He did get the blackmail letter after all. What about Detective Atme? Could he be the one that sent it? It looks that way. Uh, I can't think of anyone else. Yeah, that night. Because of the letter, I had no choice but to go to KB Security. <laughs> Mr. Ballard, my old boss. It's so sad. Do you have any idea what might have happened? Was there anyone that might have wanted him dead? Oh yeah, sure. Mr. Ballard was the type of guy who made lots of enemies. He did lots of threatening things to people. Wait, wait. Do you mean he scared people? Or that he threatened them with blackmail? Well, I guess they're kind of the same, I get right. What do you think about this? Uh, I don't really think I can help you with that. Uh, no, that's not it. It's just that that thing, I don't know, really know if I can say one way or the other. I didn't really catch that. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Once I decided to become a thief, I started studying like crazy. Studying? Like what? Petty Larceny 101? The History of Pilfering? <laughs> no, but I watched a lot of movies and read a lot of novels about great thieves. Oh yeah? I admire you for doing your homework, if nothing else. All the great ones had their own trademarks, flashy costumes, calling cards, unique laughs and catchy slogans like, Farewell, my friends! I figured I needed to do a good job with that if I was going to make a splash. Yeah, I guess you can't say goofy stuff like that unless you're a master thief. Are we point and click gaming wrong right now because you have the thing? You know what, just give me the thing. Farewell, or we shall meet again. You know, hokey stuff like that. But first, my own catchphrase. You keep tabbing out, so you might have sh I might have shown him the clipping already. I haven't. <laughs> yep, Kiara, washroom time. Fun fact, I'm actually drinking Roy Bass this time because... Obviously, it's a bit later than usual and I've got work tomorrow morning. Hey, this is an article about my debut heist. Boy, that was a tough one. Before I knew it, they were hot on my trail. Roy Vass. What I say, Roy Vass? Red Bush. Or Rubass, or Rybus, or whatever it is. But Master Mask, he must have gotten away, right? It says in the article that he disappeared. That's right. I got a sudden burst of inspiration. I hid my master mask costume in a nearby plastic bucket. Then I quickly changed into my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, eh? Wow, awesome! Hey, hold the phone. The guard in this photo. Is this you, Mr. Delight? <laughs> That's right. Nice trick if I do say so myself. Okay, that is pretty cool. Nice and easy to figure out. Even pearls could see through that in a heartbeat. Newspaper clipping updated in the court records. But as you might expect, Detective Atomy found the disguise. 
He truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. The detective at me found the mask in mask disguise. Hmm, that's interesting. Yes, and I heard that he brought it home with him. So that's it. That's where Ami got his hands on this. Thanks to that, I got the chance to remake my costume. That must have been really time consuming, huh? Yes, it took quite a while to complete. <sighs> Cos cosplay solidarity, Mr. Delight. Cosplay solidarity. Gloves. I received the first of the blackmail letters. Blackmail letters? Y you got wait, you got them starting when? Tell me more. Now. But, hey, calm down. Don't get so worked up. This blackmail letter, is this the first one you got? No, of course not. But this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. Seen a bit nervous. So, did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the tear of Eminon heist. That first letter, it said, I know you did it. So someone found out about your true identity? Just like that? Uh, it's not easy being a master thief, you know. I've got, I've got proof that it was you, so give up. It went on to say. So in the end, I had to give up the treasure I went through all that trouble to steal. Is that right? Hey, hang on a second. What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry. After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box, the letter specified. Someone sent me $10,000. No one said anything about me being worried, you know. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. P plans? What are those plans you're talking about? There were instructions on how to steal a crown or a painting or some other rare treasure. They showed security blind spots, escape routes, and even suggested training methods. So you mean the one that pla who planned the heist wasn't you? No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that I received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Okay, imagine your OTP. It sounds like Mr. Delight is thankful to the person that was blackmailing him. So Ron Delight was masked in mask after all. But someone else is behind the thefts. Someone who planned them all out in detail. All I had to do was deposit the, treasure I sh the treasures I stole into the safe deposit box. Then I just waited for the cash to come in through the mail. Could you try not to look so gleeful about it? So you went after the sacred end because of one of those plans too? Well, see, truth is, I've never seen the urn. All I did was follow the instructions and steal what I was told to steal. Mr. Delight... Is everything you've just told me the truth? Yes, but please don't tell Desi, okay? Ron's testimony adds to the court records. From Damas' second heist on, he was stealing as directed by blackmail letters. Ron, before we go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Can you add the sacred urn to the um, court record? We might need it later. Y yes, but please don't hurt me. Mr. Kane Bullard, do you swear that it wasn't you who killed him? Y yes, of course. I could never. I'm not lying. All I did was hide his body in the safe. But then I was afraid they'd discover what I did, so I turned myself in yesterday. Um, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? Um, I guess so. You're really clever, Mr. Delight. I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his word. Mystic Mayor. 
Hey, Pearly. I'm back. Hey, Pearls. So what have you been up to this whole time? The sacred urn. Mr. Nick, I took it back to Korean Village to have it examined. And, and, what'd you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They said it's the real urn. Phew. That's a relief. I was really worried. But there's one small problem. <coughs> no less. I ran all the way here. It took me like half an hour. I love that it's canon. She's actually faster than the train. Problem? Um, these cute little pink splotches. They said that it's paint and they were put on the urn recently. Why aren't we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We've got to find out how they got there. That's the big deal. Yes, Mr. Nick. We've got to find out how they got there. Uh, okay. We'll go find out how they got there. But please don't forget about me. Sacred urn refiled into the court records. Found in Atme's office, covered in pink splotches, but it's the genuine article. Okay, Adrian. use of a quote no less October the 13th Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse oh Pearl how nice to see you uh, hello there I haven't seen you around lately what have you been up to? Well, actually, I was having this urn examined. Uh, oh, I see. Maybe if we take another good look at this urn. We can figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Nick, let's look around one more time. This box. There's something about it that's bothering me. That's the box that the sacred urn was in. Yeah, it looks like there's some pink paint on it too. And it's definitely the same colour as the stuff on the urn. Oh, I think I know how the pink got on it now. Alright, let's investigate it again, Nick. Urn uh, box added to the court records. A wooden box that had the sacred urn in it has pink paint stains on it. Do 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 do. And slide. It looks like, to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly and it's shocking pink. Mr. Nick, could it be that this odd shape is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is it. Ah, that's the box the sacred urn was in. If you look here, there's a little bit of paint on the box as well. Wow, you're right. Look, it matches. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. Paint marks added to the court record. Completely dry. The box of the sacred urn fits in the gap perfectly. I think it's all starting to become clear. We're that much closer to solving the mystery of what happened to the urn. Okay. Let's just have a little chit chat, Miss Andrews. So what do you say to the allegations you've been bounty hunting off the record? OK. 
Okay, let's just um, use the entry that literally says the uh, urn's real. Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is the genuine article. Pearls went back to Korean Village and had it examined. It, is that right? That's nice. But I don't see how... What she discovered was the urn had been broken again. Did you, did you say again? Yes. It was broken once a year a year ago. And now it looks like the same thing has happened. And quite recently too. Re recently? Are you saying the urn was broken recently? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? This poster. It was made recently, right? Yeah. It's kind of a nuisance remembering which quotes which. Hey, Jan, how's it going? Poster? Uh, the poster for the exhibit. Twitch is being a jerk again. Oh, that explains why the view account's been going up and down so much to the stream. At the time when this photo was taken, the urn said, I am on it. But now, for some mysterious reason, it says, Ami. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. I am? What does that even mean? I don't know anything about that. No less. You mean the urn didn't set right, like a bone. If it breaks but fixes itself bad, you've got to re-break it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Fun fact, scar tissue is actually uh, more liable to tear again. In fact, in situations like if someone suffers from extreme starvation, old wounds can reopen years after they heal. I wasn't even there when the photo for this poster was taken. That was a mistake. Now, tell the truth. Uh, ways. Four. Uh, even if the arm was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Nobody saw me do it. You can't prove anything. Y yes, that's it. It must have been one of the people at the photo shoot. They probably dropped it. I'm sure that's what happened. Um, it looks like she's not going to give up that last side clock so easy. Do you have any proof that the urn was broken here at Lordly Taylor? The box. The box! Well, Miss Andrews, um, what's this supposed to mean? This urn has these pretty little pink paint splotches on it. <laughs> and there's something on the box that the urn was stored in as well. No matter how you look at it, the paint seems to be exactly the same, wouldn't you say? So, so what does that prove? That the urn was dropped along with the box. That's when they both got paint on them. Yep, Kiara's right. Sue Twitch. Not sure what, for what reason, but sue Twitch in general. Just sue the hell out of Twitch. Are you with me so far? Y yes The rest of the story is obvious. This box was dropped right here in Lordly Taylor's basement warehouse. If I can prove that, that means the urn was broken here too. So can you prove that? Can you prove the box was dropped here at the, in the basement warehouse? Yes, yes I can. Thanks for giving Yan the shout out, Kiara. How are you doing today anyway, Yan? Ah. I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Y yes more or less. There's pink paint splattered on the floor and walls of this basement warehouse. 
but there's an odd shape imprinted into this part of the paint stain. Am I right? Yes. If you put this box into the impression in the paint, you can see it fits perfectly. Which means that this box was dropped right over there. And that is when the urn was broken. Your name does you justice, Mr. Wright. School. Her glasses have gone all wonky. I'm so sorry. I was the one. I put the screw in the tuna. No less. Someone said there was a missile upgrade in it. <laughs> no thinking about it, as well as looking kind of like Sam Saran, she also looks like uh, Reza Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. I was the one who broke the urn. Why does this make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher? I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Well, that's not so hard to understand, is it, Pearly? No, not at all. But I know just how she feels. It happened about two weeks ago. Just after the post her photo was taken, on the same day the urn arrived here. I thought I'd put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. When I tripped on a paint can and lost my balance. The box I was carrying crashed to the ground. Crash. I heard a terrible noise and thought my heart was going to stop. Fearing the worst, I opened the lid of the box and that's what I, when it happened. The broken pieces of the urn fell out of the box and landed right in the paint. I I was in shock. And that's out a huge scream. This music is really unfitting. Hmm, I could totally see how that could have happened. Yeah. As clumsy as she is, I'm sure Mayor understands. Wow, Phoenix. Well, I knew it was the most important treasure in all of Korean Village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shard's pretty big. And, and that's where the I Am got changed into Ami. Uh, I didn't know how it was originally written. But any sane person fixing it would have assumed it said Ami. Any sane person? Really? Oh, pearls. She said she wasn't very good at spelling. Uh, anyway, I put the urn into the storeroom, and no one has seen it since then. Sacred urn updated in the court records. Broken and repaired by Adrian two weeks ago, then replaced in its box, kept out of sight. But there's something I don't get. When we first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. The Amy Faye statue. Aha! The first time that we, we came down here, it was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen. But Mr. Nick... There were no paint marks on the walls or the, or the floor of the warehouse when we were here. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mounting training hall. Uh, and? And the statue came to life and cleaned the stains up, but the magic wore off the, the next day. Also, sorry, my mouth is really dry, getting really dry right now. I realised the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Um, but there's still one thing I find strange. 
What is it, Pearl? The day after the arm was stolen, we came here again. At the time, the statue had been moved and the paint was clearly visible. She's right about that. Well, Miss Andrews. Huh? What? I... Uh, I don't know anything about that. I placed it there to cover up the paint. So why'd I move it again? Well, then who was it? Who would have done it and why? Oh, on the day before the theft, the statue was definitely close to the door. Then the next day it was moved. But why? Amy Faye's Amy Fa Amy golden statue updated in the court records. Carried into the basement warehouse on the day of the crime. Moved again that night. It looks like... There's some connection between the sacred urn and the murder case. Well, why? Why do you think so, Nick? Because that night, the real thief, Rhonda Lyde, was at KB Security. So then why did another master mask show up here? A lot of different things are, are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? The murder trial is starting tomorrow, but... It looks like that thief is going to be making another appearance. Dun, 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 dun. To be continued. And because there's no D&D &D later. I can just keep streaming. Ironically, this would have been a perfect one hour, one hour, 30 minute long stream if uh, there was D&D &D, though. <sighs> October the 14th, 9.41am. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 4. Hey Nick. What is it this time? You won't believe how many people are here for the trial. Well, it is a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door. Next door? Why do you know this, Nick? <sighs> They're having Detective Abney's trial today. Yep, no less. Free ride when you've already paid, etc. Never heard that expression, but I like it. I'm going to keep it. They're takes it at me. They say they, they're going to try him as Master Mask. Already? That was fast. Boy, I'd love to see Master Mask's trial. Why do I need to try him when he confessed? I know. Wait, I think this is Godo, isn't it? By the way, where's Pearls? Oh, it's, uh... What I. <sighs> By the way, where's Pearls? Ah, oh, she went back home. She said she can't neglect her training anymore. I know you don't like me. Pearls has, re Pearls has really gone into her training lately, huh? Yeah, ever since that incident last year. Please don't ignore me. Oh, poor Ron. I oddly vibe with her uh, talking very quietly and thinking people are ignoring you. No, less. That's because it's an Alice Morissette lyric from the meme song. Which meme song? Just assume I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, Mr. Delight. Good morning. No one likes me. No one would notice me, even if I killed someone. Ah. Come on, don't be silly. Wait a sec. 
you don't mean you're the murderer. Maybe Alanis isn't as well known across the pond. I haven't really heard the name, I'm afraid. But then again, I'm um, pretty behind things. No, no, I'm just a poor thief. No, wait, that's not right. A uh, thief can't really be poor. Well, by definition, a thief is someone of less means. Unless you mean a billionaire, the ultimate thief. You know, I just realised Ron's Light has the um, Soul Eater Excalibur face. The song goes, It's like rain on your wedding day. Oh, yep, yeah, I do know the song. I just didn't know the... Um, singer. Now let's see. Uh, according to Mr. Delight from his second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans that someone had been sending him to help him commit the heists. Do you really think there's a connection between the thief and the murderer, Nick? It's possible, but today's trial is a race against the clock. Huh? How come? Let's just take our time like always. I'm afraid that's not an option. Yeah, it's basically just a compilation of ironic situations that aren't actually ironic. Fair enough. October the 14th, 10am. District Court, courtroom number 6. It's from the 90s. Yeah, just f I think it is a very 90s song. I vaguely remember it being everywhere. Court is now in session for the trial of Ronda, Mr. Ronda Light. She sang a modernised version on SNL. Oh, interesting. The defence is ready, Your Honour. You're ready. Preparation is the last refuge of the week. Okay, settle down everyone. Let's begin with your opening statement, Mr. Goddo. Oh, something dinged. Thanks for the host, Kiara. Can we get another shout out for Kiara? Yep, preparation is the last refuge of the week is such a line, no less. Strong chaotic energy for a lawyer. Thank you, Nolus. Yes, of course you don't stream, Kiara. Apart from when you clearly do. Preparation will be the first refuge. I mean... I can think of a certain teeth link you'd disagree. Preparation is just a strat is just a cheap trick to make a weak idea str a weak plan stronger. Running away or playing possum or something would be the last refuge, wouldn't it? Yep, but why play possum when you can play possum? Okay, settle down everyone. Let's begin with your opening statement, Mr. Goddo. Wait, I already read that. Oh well. Uh, he has got the judge in the palm of his hand. Yes again. Ronda Light is simply too young to be sent to war. That's all. What? I'm afraid I have no idea what that means, Mr. Goddo. Huh. Then you need to get out more, Your Honor. Okay, my throat's seizing up a bit. Life is war, but that's exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. Do they execute people by sending them to the Russian front or what? Good question, Nolus. 
I mean, to be fair, I think a lot of people were basically uh, de facto um, executed that way. Force conscription and all that. That's all my statement means. You understand now, right? That's a Hogan's Hero reference. You just accidentally implied the setting is Nazi Germany. Um. Well then. Yes, well then. Let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow. The judge is shaking charge like he knows what's going on for a change. The victim is Kane Bullard, CEO of KB Security. His body was found in a safe at approximately 9am on the morning of the 13th. <laughs> Sorry for burping then. However, the time of the death was estimated as, as 1am the previous day. And that's when our lost little, little lost kitten drops the ball. That little lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Hey, Amanda, how's it going? Very well then, Mr. Gotto, please call your first witness. I never drink more than 17 co cups of coffee during any given trial, but the first one is always the best. Moose. Um, Mr. Gotto, your witness? Okay then, let's hear what the defendant, Mr. Rondelight, has to say for himself. The defendant? Well, Mr. Wright, does the defense have any objections? You're pretty good. That is pretty good. I may be a bit, it's a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify, but... I remember when Mia was defending me. She allowed me to testify so she could do the cross-examination. She put a lot of trust in me back then. We have no objections, Your Honor. The defense will allow Mr. Delight to testify. Huh. You've got guts, Trite. All right then, Mr. De Mr. Ron Delight, please take the stand. <sighs> My throat is not cooperating right now. You told your bosses you expect to leave in six months and move south. Wow. Do you have another job lined up or are you just going to resign and find, uh, find a new gig when you get there? Hmm. Thanks for the hydrate, Nilus. I'm actually out of tea, so I'm just going to quickly grab a cream soda and I'll be right back.
and I'm back. You miss me? Amanda, you've got a new gig in three months' time, just laying out expectations. Fair enough. Oh, if you say my voice is lovely. Oh, welcome back, Kiara. Uh, what do you miss? Uh, not too much. Trial started. We're just, um... About to determine what happened. Nolas, does carbonation help? Or do the opposite of... Oh, or are UK sodas not carbonated or something? You remember hearing they're different? Nope. They're carbonated. I've actually got a cream soda here. Can you hear me okay, by the way? Okay, audio is good. Thanks, Nolis. Okay, before we continue then, new in the bisected brioche streams. Cream soda ASMR. It's like drinking ice cream. You did, didn't you? Yes. What? Uh, no, 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 no. That's not true. moment there. I thought we'd set the record for the shortest trial ever. Slight hiss in the background, you think? Not obtrusive, though. Hmm. Yep, just checking that's the USB mic. Oh, that's weird. Oh well. <sighs> well, Mr. Delight already looks plenty guilty with that face he's making. He looks like he's uh, just seen Excalibur. You could swear that the hiss just went down as I did that. Could be the soda bubbling. I think it's more likely to be the um, fan from my laptop. I did just move uh, my mic a bit further away. Unless you just heard the soda bubbling then. And once he opens his big mouth, he'll probably put the last nail in his own coffin. Huh. <laughs> Very well. Now then, can you tell me something? If you didn't kill Blas, why'd you go to KB Security? Well, uh, uh, it's kind of hard to say. Boy, I wish I could go home. Now then, let's hear some testimony about what happened. My visit to KB Security. That evening, around 1am, I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. The black blouse letter I got, he ordered me to go there. I'd been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. Okay, this is literally what he said earlier. 1am, the exact time the murder took place. The weak get washed away by the tides of fate, the strong drink it up. Yes. Huh. It's busy today too. Just like my destiny. You never know that from that from the way he's choking it down. Mr. Wright, your cross examination if you please. Hold it. 
1 a.m., huh? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, that's what my watch said when I was entering the CEO's office. Uh, no, actually, I'm not really sure. My watch was slow and my internal clock was also a bit. 1 a.m.? That's the exact time the victim, Mr. Ballard, was murdered. Am I correct? It's too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. It ordered you to go there. It was the first time I got on a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. A price of not much. Do I remember slash have I seen the Star Wars prequels? I have indeed. Uh, I mostly remember the first one, because obviously that was the one everyone was hyped for, and then the uh, second two weren't really something uh, anyone really wanted to watch more than once. Godot was a battle droid. Roger, roger. Wait, roger, roger. Roger, roger. Can't quite get the robot voice. Roger, rod. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Yeah. I can't get this out, my voice out of my nose right now. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. There we go. Roger, roger. Kiara, Star Wars prequels, Rise of the Star Skywalker. Does this mean you've got another blackmail letters then? Oh, of course. They say things like, Steal this, or take that. <laughs> Why don't you save those for later, Mr. Delight? Please don't say any more. Now, what should I do? So, what did the blackmail letter in question say? It said to bring 50,000. The good Dave. You love how you come in, sir. Roger, 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 roger. Wait, roger, roger. Yep. Uh, no, this wants me to voice Godo as a battle droid. Money, uh, a perfect com motive for committing murder. Uh, but w wait, wait. I never intended to pay that money anyway. Oh, is that right? After all, he had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. An important point indeed. Witness, let's have that added to your testimony. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, muddy little uh, muddy muds get it in opposite space has a better chance of surviving than I do. How are you doing today anyway, Dave? The blackmail threat didn't scare me. It wasn't going to cause me trouble or anything. You didn't think it would be harder than many voices, but the monotone's an extra layer as well. Yeah, I have trouble with robot voices. I mean, there is one specific NPC ID for Blades in the Dark who's sort of monotone, but um, well, you know, you know the sort of uh, robot archetype, the snarky robot. So he usually starts off monotone, but then gets a bit more um sassy. Dave, you're doing alright. Called off work, immediately recognised the day off as a good idea. That's fair. I've uh, literally had all, had to go in to work all my days off since Monday, so... That sounds really good to me. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? Um, squeaky or fried? Uh, basically, vocal fry is when... The voice has a sort of a crackliness to it from a having a tight throat. Uh, it's what you use for that sort of grudge ghost noise. Uh, 
yeah, it has lots of that. <coughs> I imagine it's actually digitally, digitally distorted. <laughs> yep, that means I love you, an alien. Yes. Roger, roger. Okay, that's it. Roger, roger. Yep, I love all of you too, no less. <laughs> XD. The blackmail letter said, if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? I'm sure it was referring to the whole masty mask thing. But I wasn't worried. Mr. Bullard didn't have anything on me. He didn't? Anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. So that's why Mr. Light didn't believe he was Master Mask. That's why I knew they were just hollow threats. Hmm. You used to be a security chief for KB Security, right? Yes, that's right. A uh, security chief? You? And yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. Revenge for an old grudge. A uh, perfect mur murder, wouldn't you say? Roger, roger. Hmm. This isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject. Why is he fired? Mr. Delight, please tell us why you are fired from your job. Don't know if that's the right answer, but I kind of want to know. W well The world is filled with those you've said. I wish I'd never asked that. Okay, and I take it back. Defendant? Please answer the question. <coughs> Sorry for burping right into, right into the mic there. Uh, I Well, I needed the money. I needed money. You needed money? Um, well, you see, Desi loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough, so I stole data from the company. I can't believe he violated the the um, General Data Protection Act. Has he no shame? Come again. KB Security has a lot of info on all sorts of companies. And since I was the security team chief, you stole some data and sold it. Mr. Bullard found out and asked fired immediately. What? Wait, what? I wish I'd never asked that. I was somehow able to keep it a secret and made it seem like I quit on my own. Where is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Somebody who brings harm to their company is fired as punishment. You do well to remember that. He should have told you. So you admit you stole flitter from your company, is that correct? Y yes, I'm sorry. This is a very important fact. Please add it to your testimony. Nolus. To be honest, more than any battle droid lines from the prequels, you always liked the leaving the battlefield line from Star Wars Battlefront. Wrong way. Error. Error. Yeah, that is a pretty good line. To be honest, I can't hear the words wrong way without thinking of, um, I think it's V-Rally on the original PlayStation. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Star Wars Battlefront 2, the old one, had some good voice clips, to be honest. Yeah, I remember Battlefront wasn't great when it came out, but it was uh, pretty cool to have a, mul a multiplayer Star Wars sh shooter. But this was back when um, online gaming seemed like something very expen something you'd only guess if you're very rich, like VR is now. 
but that's because I couldn't afford a decent gaming PC. Oh man, this whole thing just took a big turn for the worse, crashed and blew up. It's going to take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of disaster. He fired me for telling, selling company secrets, but Desi doesn't know about that. Why do you do something like that? Well, for Desi's hobby, what else? Wasting money, huh? It, it's not a waste. So Mr. Light doesn't know her husband was fired, does she? So it would seem. I'm not sure what to think about couples who keep secrets like that from each other. I can't believe it. This case, case has gotten me to think seriously about couples. Please try to stay focused, Mr. Wright. There wasn't much to his testimony, was there? Sounds like he's avoiding something. At least that's what it sounds like to me. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. We'd best be careful. If we don't find a way, a way to make him spill the beans, we'll never get any closer to the truth. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing that means the uh, line about getting fired was the one I need to find something to contradict. To be honest, you never even played it online. You wouldn't have had half Xbox Live until the 360 era. Yeah, my first online game was just on the PC when I had a decent enough computer. Because I just didn't get the idea of paying for online gaming on top of already having to pay for the internet connection. I mean, obviously it was my parents who paid for the internet connection at the time, but you know. Oh yeah, I already read that, didn't I? Okay, the black man threat didn't scare him. It wasn't going to cause him trouble or anything. Oh, I know. His wife hates thieves. Mr. Delight, what you said just now doesn't match with what you told me yesterday. Huh? What doesn't? I think you must have been scared, very scared, of having a certain person find out your secret. A certain person? Mr. Zari Delight, the defendant's wife. Who you probably knows by now because this is all literally happening in a public court. Well, but I. Listen to me, my Desi, she's. Looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. Mm. Gordo. Yes, we know. It was all your wife's fault. Wow, Gordo. What do you mean? Mr. Delight stole company data to pay for his wife's spending habit, for which he was fired. Unable to face his own wife, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. And that is how this murder came about. Oh. Mm. No, everything is falling neatly into place for him. Don't, don't, don't talk about my Desi like that. Oh. Andy Nyan is raiding with a party of three. How's it going? Oh, you'll be sorry. Thanks for giving Andy the shout-out, Snowless. Oh, the Kiara, rather. What have you been playing? 
Steam World Dig. Had that go. Oh, for those who don't know, um, I'm Bisected Brioche, a trans woman streamer. I play single player, well, I stream single player games from start to finish. Occasionally I cosplay, and on Fridays I stream Phoenix Rise and do silly voices. You're doing good. Realised it had been a while since you saw me. Lots of drop frames, unfortunately, but you enjoy the game. Oh, do you mean um, on your stream, or are you telling me I'm dropping frames right now? Oh, and sorry about the uh, cream soda I'm drinking. I needed something to soothe my throat a bit. I'm doing okay. Okay. Well, it seems that we've learnt a great deal of things in here so far. What do you think, Nick? I didn't think it was possible to get so thoroughly whipped in just 20 minutes. Clearly, there was sufficient motive for murder. You think you were just playing a not very well optimised game? Oh, fair enough. He stole data for his wife, and he killed to protect his secrets. A family man who cared just a little too much. The motive is clear. Let's move on. Oh, also, sorry, um, Nolis is having me um, read Godot's lines, like he's a battle droid from the Star Wars prequels. I'll probably just do that for a few more minutes and go back to my uh, usual voice for him. What happened at the crime scene at one in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come now, tell us. We're all ears. You couldn't think of any other jokes about the visor, Nolus. Yeah, that's fair. At the CEO's office. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Andy. Godo, Mr. Coffee, is an interesting character. He seems intriguing so far. I'll be honest, I've only played uh, this game up to, like, maybe a third of the way through the final case, so I'm not actually sure what his uh, deal is in the end. So no spoilers. And then this is correct. Replaying this, he does seem to have a lot of weird alpha male style philosophy lines. Or just straight up non sequiturs. That is clearly at me's silhouette. Suddenly, uh, I sit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. If I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. When I came to, Mr. Ballard was lying there, dead murdered and someone was responsible I see suddenly hit on the forehead huh I believe the detective from yesterday provided similar testimony he said that master mass struck him on the head from behind uh, of course since that me turned out to be the copper himself that was all a lie preparation is the last refuge of the week is a big hit in your opinion. Yeah, that was a... It was a line. Definitely a line. Huh? No one's going to believe a prophetic lie like that. Okay, I'm going to go back to Godo's normal... Well, usual voice now. What was it you saying? I really was attacked. We'll find out what you say. If what you say is true or not during the cross examination. Got to that got that, Mr. Trite. Don't go easy just because he's your client. If I see any sign who you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Godo. I have faith in Ron. 
I know he didn't do it. He'd do anything for love, but he wouldn't do that. Who was this suspicious shadow? If there were a thousand of me, and if, and even if one you, I tell you, trust me. Hey, dodging of our question is is not helping us win this case. Okay then, how was the victim, Mr. Bullard, at the time? Andy, you haven't actually played this game in the trilogy, just the first two, so you haven't seen this character. Oh, fair enough. He's certainly a personality. What do you mean by, how was he? Was he already dead? Was he still alive? Maybe he was the one who hit you in the first place? Nolis, apparently this is Godot's first case. Yeah, they said that. I think this is the second case of the game. I don't know, wait. What's the first case of the game again? Yep, and he's still bizarrely cocky about it. I mean, to be fair, um, it, it looks like in this universe, everyone hates defense attorneys and loves prosecutors, so. That's a good question. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Forget it. Forehead, apply directly to forehead. Your forehead. Yes, I was just on the forehead as soon as I entered the room. It was an amazingly fast and powerful attack. Do you remember anything about who hit you? Well, like I said, it was a fast and powerful hit. So I think I was a little bit dazed for a while. I don't think Mr. Delight even grasped what you were asking. Yeah, I'd like to show him a fast and powerful attack myself. Please, Phoenix, you'll make Edgeworth jealous. Maybe that would knock some sense back into him. That. Could you please clarify what you're referring to? Why, my mask de mask costume, of course. Wait just a moment. Mask de mask? Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Just be on the safe side, I dressed as Master Mask. And then I descended upon the office of the CEO of KB Security. It was just like Persona 5. What? Nick, did you know about this? He never told me this. I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. Even I didn't know that. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. Scrawled up in the walkthrough thingy, first case was the flashback where Mia was defending Phoenix and the Disney princess was there. Yeah, that was it. And then the second case is this one. Oh, you going to head out, Andy? Well, thanks for the raid. Have a lovely evening and, um... Don't know what the end there was. Uh, thanks for the raid and have a lovely evening. Always a pleasure. I'm sorry. I just never had this chance to mention it up until now. Wait. That's not right. Um, you know how sometimes things just sort of slip your mind. Huh. My six cup of coffee is starting staring up at me coldly. At any rate, we can't ignore this new piece of information. Witness, please greg your testimony. I 
I'd have been killed if I wasn't wearing my Masked in Mask costume. Why weren't you dressed it up as Masked in Mask? Nerless. Yep, that does sound like a you problem for Godo. Why? Because I'm Masked in Mask, of course. What are you talking about? Master Mask trial is being held next door. Uh, y yes, I guess so. Anyway, at that time, uh, I thought I was being blackmailed up over the Master Mask issue. So I thought I should go as him, just to be safe. Using the costume I just happened to have. Oh boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around with that cape. That's why it took so a lot longer than I'd expected. Took a lot longer. What are you talking about? Um, what do you mean by took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. Ah, oh, gee. My cape got caught in the safe door, you see. This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Ballard's body. Ron is the worst client ever. What? What was that? Back up a second? Yes. You were the one that hid the body in the safe? Um, well, yeah. Inconceivable. You keep using that word, Judge. Why? What? What reason could you have? What were you thinking? Question. When does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? When they need clean ones? Uh, what? The answer is simple. When they take them off. I guess. As usual, I have no idea what you're saying. Do you mean that Mr. Delight hit the body because he is the murderer? Huh. So you're not as stupid as you look. His metaphor this time was really obscure. Mr. Wright? You don't mean that you knew about this whole safe business, do you? Uh, well, yes. Why am I the only one not in the loop here? Poor judge. Witness, make sure you add this to the testimony. Godo is chasing up. Godo is chasing up that princess bride bit with solid gold. You can't even. It, yes, sir. Uh oh. Looks like a storm threat is moving over the fair weather judge. I panicked and hit the body in the safe. It took about 10 minutes. Why'd you hide the body in the safe anyway? Well, uh, because it wouldn't fit in a drawer. <laughs> Okay, that got me. <laughs> no less, not even fold it tight enough.
Well, because it wouldn't fit in a drawer. <laughs> yep, this case is going places, Nolas. And that's not exactly what I meant. When I saw that corpse, I kind of lost it. In the safe. It's a big safe. I thought, if they find his corpse, they'll think I did it. <laughs> I think you had a much simpler reason than that. It's because you killed him. That's why you spent ten minutes hiding the body. Mm, that certainly makes more sense. <laughs> Hold on. Ten minutes? What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body and spend ten whole minutes to do it? Under those circumstances? What circumstances? Oh. Hey, Nick. If you think his behaviour was so strange, why don't you present some evidence that would show just what those circumstances were? That's it. I'll take a look at the court record and... <laughs> Sorry for burping into the mic. And present some evidence... We heard this from Mr. Delight yesterday, didn't we? There's not much in this testimony either. I bet you he's still hiding something. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll just have to draw it out of him. Yeah, there was an alarm going off. I guess that's the evidence you have to present. I just hope he doesn't make things any more complicated. Right, just have a quick stretch, Armstrong. <sighs> no less, Frankie that, that delight would hang around without knowing that Butts was goofing around is weird, unless he knew somehow. I'm oh, goofing off. Okay, let's see. Keep okay, proof the buzzer went off. Ding! Objection. Your Honour, could you please take a look at this record? And what might this be? The record for the emergency buzzer that connects the CEO's office to security. If the button in the office is pressed, a security team is supposed to come running. And according to this record, the buzzer was pushed once at 1.02 a.m. What? If Mr. Delight truly was the murderer, he would have ran as soon as that buzzer sounded. After all, a security guard would have been heading his way. Objection. Huh. Let's remember who we're dealing with here. He probably had no idea there were security personnel in the building. Objection. Up until one year ago, my client was working as chief of security. There's no way he wouldn't have known about them. Objection. But, as it turns out, the guard never came. And that was nothing more than a coincidence. The fact that the guard was a pathetic loser. Oh, poor back, Harry. Larry. Who had just got gotten punched in the face by his ex's new boyfriend. And wasn't anywhere in the vicinity was not something Mr. Delight could have known. Objection. Huh. Again, remember who we're dealing with here. It's a sure bet that Mr. Delight even didn't even notice the buzzer going off. Objection. This buzzer is extremely loud. There's no way he could have ignored something like that. If he had been conscious, that is. Conscious? What do you mean by that? Yeah, the part uh, Larry's kind of a dick is very relevant, Nolus. Fine, let's hear your theory. Recall the defendant's testimony. 
The moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. Mr. Delight said he felt dazed. I am willing to wager that he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. But was him getting punched relevant? Yes. It speaks to Larry's character. Unconscious? So he fainted? That's why Mr. Delight didn't know that the buzzer had sounded. And that's why he thought he had the time to hide the body. So, so what are you trying to say? Mr. Delight was knocked out and the buzzer went off soon afterwards. Now, unless my client was able to hit the buzzer while he was unconscious, it can only mean that there was another person in the room. That's right. Whoever it was, they knocked out Ron Delight and then pressed the buzzer. Order in the court, Mr. Wright? Th this is... This is preposterous. It was this kid. Ron Delight is the one who killed Kane Bullard. Objection. Then he pressed the buzzer. Uh, it was... Dumbledore. The victim, of course. He pressed the buzzer when the defenders attacked him. He didn't die right away. He must have held on long enough to push the button. Ugh. Hmm. So Cain Ballard sounded the buzzer himself. What's your opinion on this, Mr. Wright? I need to prove the, the re real criminal that's there at the scene, but how? Can I prove that it was, wasn't Cain Ballard who sounded the buzzer? Can I prove it? The defense's opinion is this, Your Honor. This piece of evidence proves that it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzer. Oh, there are no fingerprints on it. He wasn't wearing gloves, so it would have left them. I believe this is the piece of evidence, incontroversial evidence that you are looking for. The, the emergency buzzer? Is there some kind of clue on it? Absolutely not. Hey, come on now. At least give some thought for what you, to what you say before opening your mouth. Oh god, oh, he's got the smoke strike, you f sprite, you fool. The fact that there are absolutely no clues is itself the clue. Now, I'm the one who's clueless. Really? This person has no fingerprints on it. If Mr. Ballard has really pressed it himself, naturally he would have left his fingerprints behind. R Ronda Light obviously wiped them off. Why would he? A uh, guard could have come in at any moment. He touched that button. I know he did. The defendant, Mr. Delight, was dressed as Master Mask. And Master Mask always wears gloves. What reason could he possibly have to wipe the button free of fingerprints? Order! 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 Hmph. <laughs> it would seem. been forced wheat crow. I wonder what blend number crow flavoured coffee is. However, if the real killer was there at the scene, why would that person press the emergency buzzer? Shouldn't they have run away without putting themselves in extra danger? Presumably to frame the unconscious guy? What's with this awkward silence over the sun? Huh. It looks like you're fresh out of the parlor tricks. They're onto you, Nick. J just give me a minute to collect my thoughts. No less. Crow, crow, mid crow. Oh, wait, you're probably the only one here that watches those streams. Never mind. Uh, yeah, doesn't ring a bell. 
The real culprit killed Mr. Bullard around 1 a.m. And Mr. Delight just happened to waltz in when the murder was taking place, right? The killer clobbered Mr. Delight and then sounded the buzzer. Oh, sorry about that uh, loud so sound for anyone wearing headphones there. It got me as well. Even though the security, even though security was supposed to respond right away if the buzzer was pressed. Security was supposed to respond. Mm. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Let's hear what you have to say. Very well then. Uh -huh. You've got some guts. I like that in an opponent. Outside Xbox, one of their Halloween streams. Don't worry about it. Ow. Uh, actually, was that one of their uh, Resident Evil remake streams? Because I think I watched that, but I didn't really remember much of it because I was really sleepy at the time. Also doing HDS. Which I tend to use long streams for. Why'd the real killer sound the emergency buzzer? To call the security guards. The killer knew that if they pressed that button, a guard would come running. And that was exactly what they wanted. D do you mean to say the killer called the guard on purpose? Yes. Although, as it turned out, he never showed up. Because he was getting his clock cleaned at the time. Huh, what a touching story. You're saying the killer had a change of heart and called the guard to turn himself in? No, I'm not. When that buzzer sounded, there were three people in that office. The victim, Cain Ballard, who is already dead. The defendant, Ron Delight, who is out cold. And the third person, the real killer, who, silhouette, silhouette we must emphasise, is clearly Luke at me. Hypothetically, yes. Now then, in this situation, if the real killer made an escape, what would happen? The only ones left in the room would be the victim and Ron's alive. And if any security guards came running at that time, they'd think I was the murderer. Yes, that was precisely the real killer's objective. No less. And he did play through the remake for Halloween. But it was from an old FMV Goosebumps game that they also played. Must be seen to be believed it had a couple of stars in it. Stars. To be fair, so did a uh, remake. Oh yeah, I think I uh, saw the um, notification thing for the stream, but I don't really watch many streams on YouTube, so I didn't see it. I did watch their um, Shellbridge Cradle stream, though. To frame Rom's alight for the murder. Sorry for laughing right into the mic there. Order! 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 Huh. It would seem. I've been made to eat my words once again. Actually, I've been made to do a spit take with a cup of coffee. M Mr. Wright, who was it? Who was it that tried to frame me? Oh, wait. Wait a second. I'm the only one and only master mask, so... Nick, you mean the real killer is? We're going to drag that person in here right now. But, 
but who is it? Oh, I don't have any solid proof yet, but think about it. The killer knew Mr. Delight's identity, and they also knew that he'd been called to KB security that night. So the killer used him to craft a well-executed execute a well-crafted plan to murder Kane Bullard. You're going to go ahead and send a clip on Discord. It's really good. Oh, fair enough. I'll check that out later. Now then, let's hear your accusation, Mr. Wright. Who was it that framed Mr. Ronda Light for the murder of Kane Bullard? Okay, I don't know the evidence, but... Come on. That was clearly, um... Luke Atme's profile, wasn't it? Detective Luke Atme. He is the only one who could have done it. Also, that was clearly a silhouette. Who's Detective? Luke Atme. You mean, Master Mask did it? Your Honor, the person being tried in the court next to us he is not Master Mask after, at all. He is, in actuality, the true murderer of Kane Bullard. Also Gordon Freeman. Order, order, Miss, Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Theft and murder. Which is the more serious crime? They're not even close. Murder is the more serious crime, of course. It is a capital crime crime subject to a capital punishment. I mean, a uh, capital crime subject to a capital punishment. Please remember the trial from yesterday, if you would. When Luke at me confessed, there was a huge commotion in the courtroom. Of course. A famous detective was unmasked as well. Master Mask. Instead of being convicted of murder, he was found guilty of grand larceny. That was his true objective all along. To be found guilty? Master Mask had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. He was stealing the urn at Lordly Sailor. In other words, being found guilty as Master Mask was Luke at Mies, airtight, watertight, and unassailable alibi. A guilty verdict? As an alibi? I'm sorry for my voice fading out, by the way. You know, it's almost time. Or what? For Luke Atme's verdict. It was a pretty simple trial, after all. If we're going to stop this trial and saw that one, we need to do it now. Of course. That's assuming you have proof that the detective was the one who committed the murder. Mr. Luke Asmi's trial has indeed attracted the attention of the entire country. <laughs> no less. To do 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 drink coffee. If we were to intrude and fail to provide adequate proof of his true crime, Mr. Delight would be left with no grounds for appeal. That's how it works for some reason. Am I really sure about this? Huh. I bet it's only good. When your life's the ante. Again, what? M Mr. Wright, I, I believe in you. You've got the heart of the cards, Mr. Wright. Mr. Delight. So, 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 please, I'm begging you. Thanks, but... Wait, thanks, but... My decision will determine the rest of your life. Can I really risk your life like this? Phoenix. What was that? Don't stray, Phoenix. For your client, take the path of trust. <laughs> the heart of delight. That'd be a great um, punk band name. Th that voice. It, it sounds like... M Mia? Your Honor, the re defense requests an immediate recess. <laughs> so that's your answer, huh? Very well, I've decided as well. 
This court will now take a 20 minute recess. Mr. Wright, when we return, please summon Mr. Luke Hatney to the stand. Yes, Your Honor. October the 14th, 11.58am. District Court, courtroom number 5. Sorry. Poor Mr. Payne. <laughs> well, so Detective asked me. <laughs> I have to say, Mr. Payne, you performed splendidly. Oh no, sir, Detective Aspie, you are the one who... That's enough! This court needs to see is no reason to prolong this trial. This court finds the defendant, Luke Asmi. <laughs> I can't believe we, uh, Ace Attorney twisted another trial. Wait. Don't hand down your verdict yet, please. Well, well, Sir Lawyer, welcome to my courtroom. Oh, who is this, Hoser, eh? My name's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law, and I wish to file an accusation against this man, Luke at me. A accusation? You accuse Master Mask? That man is not Master Mask. He is just a ruthless murderer. What? <laughs> Canadian judge's expression. <laughs> to be continued next Friday. Well, uh, that's as good a point as any to finish the stream, so thanks everyone for dropping by. I hope everyone had fun. Yep, I'm done already, Kiara. You're welcome, Yan. Oh, I mean, thank you, Yan. Oh, don't cry, Kiara. It's only a teenage wasteland. What's something? Yeah. So hopefully next week, um, D and D is going to be going ahead as usual. Yep, pretty wild, no less. Pretty wild. Anyways, um, I'll be back on Monday with whatever gets voted for, so... Um, what can I say? Vote, vote, vote. Uh, if you go to the Twitter link, you can uh, find out about more about each game I'm going to be playing. Oh, thanks for the shout-out, Kiara. Don't know if I'd follow her though, she seems a bit sus. Well, you're not supposed to agree. So, yep, yeah, if you go to the uh, tweet, you can find out a bit more about each game and uh, obviously go ahead and vote. It's multiple choice, so vote for all the ones you sound like the sound of. Please don't vote for other M. You are Kiara, you do what you want. This is true, Kiara does as she pleases. Okay, who's streaming? Katie the Angel Witch is playing Shovel Knight. Shropshire DM's doing D&D. &D.
Tam and the Cans playing Hades. Yeah, I think I'll read Tam and the Can. They're pretty nice. Okay, off to Tam and the Can then. Uh, they use they them pronouns, so remember that. Um, not much else to say. Hopefully I'll see you Monday, and hopefully I'll see you next Friday for more Ace Attorney and some D&D. &D. Keep an eye on my Twitter account for more information about the uh, my uh, Grounded cosplay and or Lara Croft cosplay. Uh, Kiara's going to record a song for Kilanea. Nice. Well, in any case, um, I'm... <sighs> yeah, I need to get to bed, so ready in three, two, one, and let's go. My voice is going. R.O.P. my voice. Dissected Brioche is raiding with a party of five. Hi, how are y'all doing? How is the game you're playing? But where are y'all playing? Mm -hmm. Welcome here. God, I have so many nice people in chat now. I love it. <laughs> 